So it's risky anyway. You can risk, go out and try and make some money on your own, be your own boss and decide how much you make. Or you can risk staying in a job. One day your boss dies, you, have, you no longer have any money. So it's risky either way. You're going to have to be some, you're going to have to do some risk anyway. It's just picking the right one. And I think most people are too comfortable sort of just blowing in the wind and then going to school and then obviously going to uni and then obviously getting a job and then obviously doing this because everyone else does it. I'm telling you, man, I have a principle in life and that is literally, if I see everyone doing something, it is almost my inherent, inherent action to do the complete opposite. If I see a load of people doing something, I'm like, no, I'll do the other thing. Because I just, I, I see where everyone's going. Everyone does the same thing and they all end up in the same position. And if you do the other thing, you'll end up in a different position. All the billionaires didn't fucking go to school. Everyone's going to school. How are they going to be rich if all the billionaires aren't going to school, right? The billionaires aren't going, so I'm not going to fucking focus on school. I'm going to focus on something else. And yeah, I'm telling you, man, you've got to pick your risks because it's yeah, going to be risky right. either way. Man. No, you're right, yeah. It's nuts, yeah. bro. You you are right. It is a case of pick your risk. The own the uh, the biggest risk of all is not picking a risk. Or what's the saying? There's a saying about something like that. Um, I can't remember what it is, but yeah, like risk. with this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like with this podcast, I was really uh, uninclined to start it because I was worried about the possible, like. Uh, reactions and implications that I'd, I'd get from people being like look at this guy who does he think he is da, 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 da. and I thought well a you're letting the opinions of other dictate your actions Ollie and b they don't care actually either way that's that that's another thing to sort of work out it's well they, they yeah you're absolutely right. yeah exactly exactly and it, it, it you know it's a cliche isn't it to don't live your life pandering to other people but the risk was i either don't start it and you or you don't break or in your case you don't break away and do your own thing or you wake up one day 40 years time wishing you had done it and thinking why didn't i do it and it was because i was worried about what people thought and actually they didn't really that you know there's only so much damage a person's thought can do to you and that is None, fundamentally. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what's funny, though? I remember when I was about, I want to say like 15, and I was getting into the gym, and I was like the only person in my year doing it because I wanted to be in shape, and they all thought I was fucking, I mean, people won't get this if they're not from the UK. If, was, if they're from the UK, people just call you gay for doing stuff, and they're like, you're so gay. I'm just like, whatever, mate. Anyway, I, I remember just working yeah. out and thinking to myself, why do I find this embarrassing? And what I realized was, is that you, you said you fucking nailed it. People, people may give you their view. Within eight minutes, they've forgotten. They don't care. People have their own lives. If you're not going to do something because you're scared of what someone else is thinking, please understand, within about 17 seconds, they have their own problems. They're not thinking about it. You may be thinking about it all day and all week. By the time, by the time it's fucking finished, by the end of the day, they don't even think about it. They don't even care. So living through that paradigm is completely stupid. It's like going up to a girl and saying you're not going to go up to her because you're scared she's going to reject you. And that rejection is going to scare you for a week. Bro, you, you go up to her, she says no, she's forgotten it within four minutes, who cares? Less than like, that. Imagine living your life that way. Imagine living your life that way. Yeah, yeah no. I don't want to do something because that person's going to think of it for one minute and then they're going to forget. It's crazy. So what, it's, it's kind of a superpower. Once you realize that, like you can do anything. Start a business, fail, no one cares. Oh, wow, that didn't work. Who cares? Within a, within a week, They've got their own problems. They've got their own shit to worry about anyway. They're not. The spotlight effect is infecting people. They think everyone's thinking about them all the time. They're not. People have their own lives. They have their own problems. They have their own shit to do. They don't care about you as much as you think they do. And once no. you realize that, you can do anything. So, you can do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it is a complete and utter superpower. Is that what it's called? Is that what that phenomenon is called? The spotlight effect? I didn't, I didn't know it had a name. Spotlight right? effect, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the effect where you think that everyone is going to be looking at you and judging you all the time. And it's like, bro, no one cares. Wow. Even celebrities, bro. What is it like every week a new celebrity sex tape comes out? Oh, wow. Look, it's Kim Kardashian's vagina. So no one cares after like a week. We've got our own shit to do. We don't care. So you think about it on a grand scale like that. If you really think they gives a, gives a shit if you go out and start business and it fails, no one cares, man. Like they move on. They have their own shit to do. So just do it. 
you know, if it succeeds, great. And if it doesn't succeed, who cares? They're not going to remember it anyway. 